Global oil prices are back above 50 U.S. dollars a barrel. Members of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries have agreed to cut production for the first time since 2008. CCTV's Guy Henderson reports from the Austrian capital, Vienna. Even as OPEC ministers arrived, a deal wasn't certain. But nearly all this oil cartel's members agree that prolonged low prices have left a black hole in their balance sheet. Continued division, it seems, have become just too costly. The agreement that OPEC reduces approximately 1.2 million barrel a day to bring its ceiling to 32.5 million barrel per day, effective first of January 2017. An overall OPEC quota in principle was announced two months ago. Since then, rivals have been arguing over how much each of them should cut. At the heart of the standoff, members Saudi Arabia and Iran. Away from the negotiating table, they are on opposite sides of proxy wars in both Yemen and Syria. Each has very different priorities. Saudi Arabia has benefited in terms of taking market share from Iran and Iraq because of the war, because of sanctions. However, if you're Saudi Arabia, you have a population growth in excess of 2%. You have an, a, a youth bulge. You need, you're trying to retool the economy, uh, wean it away from the dependency of oil production. So you need to finance that somehow. In the end, both compromised. Tehran will freeze production close to current levels. Riyadh will cut its output by 486,000 barrels. Non-OPEC producers may be on board too, something Russian President Vladimir Putin had pushed for. Though there also lies the potential catch. Analysts around this meeting see one important caveat, and that is that the whole deal appears to hang on non-OPEC countries explaining exactly how they'll implement their commitment to cut production by 600,000 barrels a day. It's thought likely that Russia will pledge about half of that. As to who else, officials here admit that is yet to be finalised. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Vienna.